This video explains how to load paper into the Xerox C320 color printer. Tray 1 can hold 250 sheets and is intended for large jobs that use standard media. The manual feeder can hold only one sheet at a time and is intended for all types of special media. The optional Tray 2 is a 550 plus 100 sheet tray. The 100 sheet bypass tray is intended for small quantity jobs that use special media. To load paper in tray 1, pull the tray out. Move the paper guides out. Fan the stack of paper, then load it into the tray. Adjust the guides to fit the paper size. For best results, do not load the paper above the maximum fill line. Overfilling the tray can cause paper jams. Slide the tray back in. When you close the tray, the control panel displays the paper tray properties. If the properties match the paper you loaded, touch Yes. If not, touch No and change the properties to match the paper. Load a sheet of paper with the printable side face down. Slide the paper inside until its leading edge is pulled in. To load paper in the bypass tray, push the release latch of tray 2 and open the tray. For larger paper sizes, pull the extension tray out. Move the width guides to the edges of the tray. Fan the stack of paper, then load it into the tray. Adjust the guides to fit the paper size. To load paper in tray 2, ensure you close the multipurpose tray, then pull the tray out. Move the paper guides out. Fan the stack of paper, then load it into the tray. Adjust the guides to fit the paper size. For best results, do not load the paper above the maximum fill line. Overfilling the tray can cause paper jams. Slide the tray back in. When the tray is loaded, make the necessary changes to the Tray 2 settings in the control panel. If you aren't sure about the paper type, read the label on the end of the paper package. For more information, Refer to the Xerox C320 Printer User Guide.